well, Jamal doesn't have any say on anything happening on this particular project, but you have him in here. And because you have him in here, you're all the Black Lives Matters sort of advertising on you know, the NFL and the MLB and every, every corporate structure and entity and institution. And it's like, well, cool, let's see your, let's see your boardroom. If Black yeah. Lives Matter, if Black Lives Matter, let me see your board. Let me see how much we matter on your board. Let me see how much we matter in terms of the equity of pay, right? Black people do a lot in this country, always have. Black women are the most educated group of people in America and have been for a very long time and yet are underpaid, right? So these are real sort of structural issues. I mean, I just looked at uh, Viola Davis has this v a viral clip going, on, going around right now, but that's a very real, I mean, in my industry as a writer, as a novelist, I fight for every penny. I've had to fight to claw my way and work twice as hard as my colleagues to have the career that I have, right? Like it took a long time and, I, and twice the amount of work, right? I've written 16 books, 16 is how long it took, right? And, and I think um, what we're saying is, look, we're, we're talking about equity and, and, and fairness, not because we want handouts, but because we're good enough. <laughs> It's like it, it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to fight twice as hard yeah. for anything just because of who you are. Um, I mean, there's a lot of young people who come on to these lives and watch and are trying to educate themselves. Um, and I know it's a broad and there, it's a deep, broad subject and it can't be covered in 15 minutes. But I guess what would be something that you would say to the young people watching who are just trying to learn and trying to do better like what's a really important point oh, yeah. that you i got you about? very very simple so there are three categories when it comes to the way that we talk about race there are there are what we would normally when we when we normally think of racism we think of segre segregationists right people who say that you are not allowed to do a thing because of the way you look or you are less than because of the way you look in our everyday lives, these are hate. We call them haters. These are haters, right? Everybody knows a hater. We know what a hater is. We all have haters. Haters are people who who hate you because you are not like them, right? Yeah. We all know what that is. Every every high school movie has these people, right? Yeah. Uh, and then you have this interesting middle ground called. These people are called assimilationists. This is what most of us are, right? Assimilationism is the thing that says I'm going to be somebody else. In order to be, in order to fit into the structure of whiteness, quote unquote whiteness, right? So, for instance, if you want to be, if you want to be on this movie, you have to be a certain kind of black person. You have to look a certain kind of way, have a certain kind of education, all of which is close to what I associate with uh, myself, which in this case would be whiteness, right? As a white person. Um, you can't have, don't be rough around the edges, which is not really a thing. It's just, I have different cultural codes and different ways of doing things. But if, but, but if that black person is accepted, uh, it's called assimilationism and it's still racist, right? So it's, it's basically what I would call your fake friends. You know what I mean? The, the person that says, I like you as long as you act like me. Right. Then you're okay. Then you're good with me, right? Exceptionalism, right? And then there's this last group, which is what we're all trying to be. And this is the group that is anti-racist. Now, anti-racist is now a word that we hear every day. It's everywhere. And let me explain very, very easily about what anti-racist uh, actually means. It simply means that you're willing to love a person because they are like themselves. That's it. Yeah. Right? I love you because you are like you, not like me. Not like you are like you, and that is enough for you to belong and exist in whatever space you choose to belong and exist in. The way you talk, the way you dress, who you love, who you pray to, none of those things are of any importance, right? I love you because you are you, and you belong here because you exist, right? Mm -hmm. that, is, that is all anti-racism is. It leads with love and love alone. Love and love alone. Not all the extra, not all the conditions about like, well, your hair is thick where you got tattoos on your face, where you come from Harlem and you grew up in the projects or whatever people make up in their minds and their imaginations of who black people are. This is saying, I don't care what this, the circumstances are. You exist in the world, therefore uh, you deserve life, liberty, um, justice, equality, uh, and, and, and if, uh, at, at the utmost you deserve freedom, period. Yeah. Young people, if you can carry that with you in your life, then the world looks better 10 years from now. It will. I think it will. I think people are, I mean, I have faith. I'd like For to sure. have faith. 
Yeah, I mean, do you do you feel hopeful? You're 23 years old. I got about 15 years on you. So because I can look at you as a 23-year-old and, and seeing the conversation that we're having, what you're trying to have and continually try, continuously trying to have, I have hope. I think, y'all, I think your generation will be the generation that turns the corner. And I really do mean that. I, I agree. I think there's a, lot of, there's a lot of people that are willing to listen and educate themselves and, and, and fight for other humans, you know, because that's what we are at the end of the day. We're just... That's one, it. One human race. One human race. We've been tricked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real. <laughs> really? Um, I can't wait to read your book. Um, I'm I'm so happy I was I was sent it and that I was introduced to you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk to people who otherwise, you know, book, which is stamped. Yeah. With, I will put a little link to in our in our in our lives so people can can check it out. Um, but but thank you again. I really really appreciate it. And I'll reach out to you when I finish reading it and let you know. I'll let me let me know what you yeah. think. <laughs>